less involved contracts. Welcome back to Pisces TV with Dr. MB. This is your love reading Pisces for the collective Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. Strong emphasis on the moon. For those of you that are new to the channel, please check the description box as there is information about me, my channel, Tarot. If you are interested in purchasing products and services or booking your own personal reading, there's a link to my Etsy store. If you want to follow me online, I'm on Instagram and Twitter at iBuns. There's also a link to the Patreon membership platform if you're interested in the extended to this video. And those of you that have not subscribed, a benefit to doing so is that we have contest winners if you're interested in free readings. Okay, last month there were three winners. December, I'm selecting five. So subscribe, like, share, comment. Make sure you check the notification bell option so that you receive alerts because I post the competitions or contests in the uh, community board as well as my product codes and my specials where a lot of the readings on a daily basis, you know, maybe, maybe not, um, or as much as 50% off. So make sure that's something that I do as a treat to my members and subscribers so that you see it first. Now, as we get into the reading, I was going to do the daily vibe first, but Source was like, nope, stick to the love reading first. And I said, cool. When I saw the cards that were shuffled out, it made sense and it was kind of cute. So intuitively, I wanted to um, caption this. It's like taking you out on a date or something about saving the date or a get together, a celebration, a coming together, a reconciliation, a celebration, getting excited about something. That's for some of you. Others of you, especially if you've dealt with third party situations, okay, I saw the King of Wands not happy at home, okay? So that is some very interesting energy. Now, I am a Pisces with uh, some Scorpio on my chart, and I don't mind playing. I'm not trying to put myself out there. I don't wreck the homes. It looks like this home is already wrecked, okay? Or somebody is abandoning or wanting to abandon a situation, but I don't think it's you. I think it's an opposite situation over here. And then it's like wanting to celebrate, take you out or, you know, spend some time with you. So someone or some of you that could be in third party situations and I stopped at the Ten of Cups. I didn't even see uh, what was under here, but it's kind of like I want to take you out on a date. I'm unhappy or for some of you where you've had a recent breakup or a separation from a person, they could be regretting that. They could be, you know, sorry or rethinking that they maybe have abandoned a situation. Someone in particular that there's a broken off engagement, whether they broke off a date or broke off a marriage or broke off the relationship. I feel like it's like I want to come home, you know, for some of you. So just keep that in mind and be mindful of those in your environment. You don't have to be dealing with the fire sign, but strong emphasis on someone who could be in another relationship. It could just be a very competitive, athletic build, you know, sexy, attractive person, or also just someone who I'll say has a lot of masculine energy. Okay, so regardless of the sex that you date, because the Ten of Cups, you know, has a rainbow in the card. Um, it just talks about the dominant or the masculine in a situation that could be regretting their actions or are unhappy at home. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started with the reading. The Ten of Swords talks about silence, maybe someone not talking. OK, someone could have been focusing on work and kind of hesitant to reach out. Um, but the confusion at home uh, with their commitments or, you know, something feeling arranged, not really a lot of chemistry there. They could be kind of tired of that. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this reading to see where it goes. Now, I kind of want to start with an oracle card. I kind of want to just get into the current energy and what's crossing it. I think I'm going to go with the oracle card. Oh, and an offer. Okay. Bottom of the deck here is spirit. So it's a bonus, actually a bonus oracle card 
from the fountain um, tarot deck and it's called the fountain but it looks like spirit so if this is a reconciliation the temperance card the twin flames coming together or this being organized by the divine and i've never noticed until now i've always seen <laughs> just this spark of light right now in this very moment i just realized there's a little shape of a being okay could be a celestial being or what could look like an angel if your eyes are squinted but can you see that kind of like the form of a body the hands or the um the forearms and the hands going in right here a head and a body i have never noticed that until right now in this reading that's kind of cool never noticed that so spirit may be bringing something together oh my gosh encouraging someone to take action where there may have been in action in a situation and if you ask me how i know that i'm about to flip the cards over and let you know why but the current situation talks about the cups okay as far as timing cups take a really long time the longest in the deck to to come about now the page of cups is new or immature right it's not this super duper married 10 years kind of energy so it could be new love for some of you or just like a fantasy for others of you but for the most part this cup i feel represents the offer or the idea of an offer coming into you now just a few words to kind of just like awaken your senses messages about love it could be a love letter um, some of you could have worn your heart on your sleeve in the past um, being in love with love all right traveling to see a person someone traveling to see you you guys could even be communicating with each other through dreams and meditation somebody is contemplating on a subconscious level about a situation but for the most part it's kind of like puppy love i kind of like it i like it a lot now the next card that i saw with this taking action or going the distance the eight of wands talks about a bunch of messages so for some of you the gemini energy the mercury the full moon coming out of venus and taurus you don't know what these people are going through on their end this could be a lot of messages coming your way okay or something about the distance if you guys have been distant or there may have been some blocks maybe you moved they moved or some of you guys may be in separation but the eight of wands is fast acting where the um like i said the cups talk about taking some time to develop the ones talk about you know the fastest action even faster than the swords so this is something that may have been delayed or didn't come as quick as you'd like um holding back their emotions taking on too many projects or those of you that have the king of wands kind of rethinking their choice it could say that you know there has been uh, some quarrels at home some disputes domestic disputes so something going on in the home life that could be causing someone to take action and if they regret um an ending or a separation from you they may be wanting to come back into your energy all right now here in the center of the reading it talks about the lesson we have the hangman and the hangman again with those delays holding back uh not really sharing the emotions or if this was just like i said where mercury falls in your chart whatever the eclipse is bringing in for you it just talk about delays and stagnancy some others of you it talks about being stuck in a situation it could be your person stuck in a situation or you feeling like you know kind of stuck in a situation dealing with it by yourself the number is 12 okay if that matters for any of you i like 12s because 12 is kind of like noon or for some of you it's midnight it's a shift between like the a.m and the p.m so it could talk about you know darkness and light um it also talks about patience what someone is willing to sacrifice to bring this relationship um into existence it also talks about illusions and surrendering okay psychic receptivity so some of you guys like i said following your intuition um for some of you debating letting go the person could be debating letting go but it, again it talks about yielding uh possible delays or for some of you the higher purpose like your soul mission and kind of understanding what the relationship is someone coming in the environment could be talking about what the relationship truly means to them all right now here we have the star now if this is the other person 
you thought highly of them, very highly of them. And I feel like with this Aquarian energy or star energy, um, if this is your person, they may have seen you as the star. The star is another major arcana, and it is the number 17. For those of you who are into numerology or whatever, um, finding your light, again, more clairvoyance and spiritual development, met, uh, metaphysical things, and also karma. It's kind of like the calm after a storm. So I think the grass may not have been greener on the other side for some people. Um, and that could be what sparks the inspiration to come back into your life. I still feel, like I said, with the star energy, either someone thinks very highly of you or you could have thought very highly of someone else. Others of you where there may have been third party situations. This could have been sexual guilt. Um, maybe, like I said, not being sexually attracted or having quarrels in their home or domestic life. And you could have really sparked something within them. Um, maybe some of you could have lost hope for this relationship. I don't want to say that it's in reverse, but just talking about the past, it could talk about your hopes, wishes, and dreams. Um, some of you could have been let down. And it's like you, you either hadn't let go and have been let down or you're thinking about letting go. Someone let go of somebody. And it could have been a real letdown, especially if you were really emotional and tried your best to go the distance in the relationship now crowning you look at that someone's thinking about you or someone that you're thinking about is this king of wands energy you may have been feeling stuck and stagnant and this wand and these wands just really talk about action a lot of action and going toward your true desires because the star for me is not the lovers that represents gemini and the north star it's more Aquarian energy, but still, when I'm looking at the star and it's, you know, sparkling all bright, it also talks about like the life purpose, your path, you know, where you're headed in your direction. This talks about direction. This is like the lack of, you know, uh, movement. And then it's like seeing the star and this spark of inspiration and taking action so somebody's like i said taking action or communicating here it also talks about leadership because the king of wands is a lot of that i want to say masculine or dominant energy where it's just okay with standing alone um any situations that may have come about where tradition is you know being broke up families um household things that are unwanted going against you know the emperor does what they 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 kind of have to do and have been taught to do where we have to play face and hold the tradition the uh king of wands is not that energy it's definitely someone who considers themselves first um is very motivated and very down to earth and kind of goes against the emperor's ways it's a go-getter and it could be about ethics and morals but this person is pers persistent um or there's some thought about persistence when it comes to maybe the love that you've shown them and maybe they're not getting it from somewhere else now here we have seven cups so for some of you you may have or this person may have come to you before you may have tried this relationship many times or it's this confusion of the past some of you may be thinking about multiple people or this person could have had multiple relationships because all of these cups for me just kind of remind me of, like I said, multiple offers, mixed feelings, confusion. Um, I, I like to say that the Seven of Cups also talks about, you know, fears, addictions um, and stuff like that. So they could have even had a long, you know, line of lovers um, or running from true love because they were scared to kind of settle down, maybe even still in fear of their past. If there was a star that they admired that kind of broke their hearts or something like that. So be mindful of that. But the seven is your number, Pisces. And I'm not sure if this is you or your person um, in the seven of cups energy in this illusion or talking about choices, assessing the choices, like reflecting on um, even in passing time that could be daydreaming about you. Um, this card also talks about temptation and seduction or too many choices and not enough direction. So look at this, a lot of choices and something about the direction. It also talks about a bad marriage partner. 
to somebody it's like i have had enough i don't think this is it um and it's like the feeling of being in love but at the same time not with the person you're with so that's why the the knight of uh, i'm sorry the king of wands sometimes get the bad rap of being a husband but not the seeker's husband at the time um i hey and the emperor is the one to stay in the marriage and try to have a mistress the king of wands may you know finally break the code and just say hey i made a mistake this is a mistake it's not working and i don't really i don't really fault him for that you know would you rather have the emperor and play face and and follow tradition and stay together and still have things going on outside of home or do you just break free you know it's like you know whatever whatever so here um the page of coins in my mary l tarot is the star so if the uh if the king of wands is the the sun right the sun energy um and the page of coins is the star it's kind of like the moon is missing so if the moon is missing and the moon is associated with your energy pisces like i said there could be something missing in this person's dynamic the page of coins is also reaching out it talks about paying attention and focus maybe you have their focus maybe there was a lack of focus in the past because here we have this confusion or this inability to choose and maybe taking too long on making a decision or coming toward you um, because of over analyzing a situation okay here in the center of the reading we have the eight of pentacles all right so somebody is like do i want to work it out am i single it could have something to do with children how i was raised should i walk out of this maybe i didn't have you know a family um maybe that's why i'm debating keeping my family together or taking action some of you this person could have worked with you or it's kind of like traveling for work you could meet this person in travel um and i don't know you go to when it said take you out on a date that would be so cute now i'm the hopeless romantic right where this could be a romantic situation um you're just out and about stopping for coffee tea or something like that um, and the person works there, owns it, you know, um, visits it frequently or something like that. That's kind of cute. And the hangman just says that they've been waiting to meet a person like you. Or like I said, you could have been caught up on someone else in the past. And the eight of coins just for me talks about working out or working through things. Where pentacles, it's a very practical energy and it's grounded. The hangman is suspended up in air. So there is a difference here when it comes to the suspended up in air and the confusion and not being certain. And then the eight of pentacles, which talks about dedication um, and thinking, you know what I'm saying? Almost being finished with something. Mindfulness. It also talks about grounded energy um, and discipline and order. So maybe that was lacking from a person's situation or maybe they had too much of that where they felt, you know, work was more important or working through their situation was more important for others of you it also talks about like tunnel vision um because he's really really focused on this missing piece right putting it together and here she is totally looking at us not focused on the cups at all so there's no tunnel vision it's just kind of like a blur okay and even this person you know as in crowning your thoughts it's i don't want to say it's kind of like a blur but it's like if you take a picture and someone's in motion it would you know appear to be kind of blurry if i tried to take a picture of the stars it wouldn't be as pretty in the camera as it would be to the naked eye and then the page of coins which talks about paying attention discipline your habits um maybe they just like that about you maybe you are consistent like i said in your personal growth or in something that you're doing and they admire it maybe you're very hard working and if they're dealing with a lover who just kind of sits by and, you know, lets them do everything and cater to them, it's like, well, I kind of like Pisces um, because Pisces does their own thing. Pisces gets up and go to work every day. Pisces, you know, cleans the house or takes care of themselves. Now, in your hopes and fears, here's the Ten of Swords where it's like, am I beating a dead horse? This is no communication and this is multiple messages. So somebody's kind of wondering because there hasn't been any communication about how I feel. And it's like, am I waiting in vain? 
outcome look at the date <laughs> okay i can have asked for a better reading there's the four of wands there's something coming together there's the planning there's the plotting i definitely love that so if you choose to join us on the other side again the link to patreon is in the description box i hope to see you on the other side until next time namaste